Hello YouTube. Welcome to putting the rod to the pipe and have it centered and just right so it's not off. Okay, this is pretty simple. I'll have a picture of this piece of paper. I had to tape two of them together to make them long enough. I found the seam of the pipe. A lot of times on the exhaust pipe there will be a seam in a line. And if you want a straight line, you can lay a piece of angle iron on there. I just let a yard stick fold the seam really good and marked it out you know, all the way up here and there. Okay, so we wrapped our paper around here and then we measured how long the paper had to be. That's the circumference. I don't like big words, I don't like it complicated. This way you don't have to do that pie formula and stuff. Anyway, once you get your paper fitted on there, you take it back off and then you mark it. Okay. You measure halfway, okay, then you measure the fourth, fourth quarter of a way. So there's another quarter. So that's where your hole is going to be, okay. So this is pretty simple. So you're going to be right across from each other. You're going to have this hole one fourth way around. Dudley seam will be in the back, okay. That's enough of that. I'll snap a picture of the piece of paper laid out. It's all taped on here with tape. I use this wide because the wider it is the better. This is that nice uh, stuff I've been using for templates. Really nice thick drawing paper. I don't know if it's called vellum or there is some kind of name for it. But anyway, be sure we got that covered. Stay tuned and then we'll come back and we'll show you the hole and how the dampers fit in there and how we're going to put a bolt through the damper. So. Stay tuned. Okay, we got this in the vise. We've got our little homemade V-block. We put this big piece of angle iron in here. We've got everything floating. Everything's loose. You can move everything around. Okay, we brought the drill down and put pressure on it right on the punch mark. And then we flip the switch on and off on the drill. So we're right on the line. So do that at your own risk. Or like in another video, so bring it down with pressure, then turn the chuck by hand. And you'll that way you can just no starter bit, just drill the hole you're gonna need, five sixteenths on this one. I think you see what I mean. Got a little V block in there, got that in there. Okay, back to work. Okay, we got the hole. Have to put a disclaimer here. What I did at drill press, do at your own risk. Said I just put pressure on the center punch, which was a really deep one, and I just flipped the switch on and off. Like I said, you can do it by hand. You can turn the chuck. It's pretty straight. Said and draw you a line around there. So it's pretty straight. I don't know if we can see down it. We'll just take a picture of it, trust me. I lost the bowl out of there. But back to work. Next is making a way to hold the damper in there. And once we figure it out, we'll decide what design we want for a handle. This pipe is 24 inches long. I wanted to damper up a third of the way, but I could stick my arm in there quite a way. Like if I could shove my arm up there halfway, a foot. The damper's in there. Can you hear it? See it? Okay, now we're going to design how we're going to put a bolt through it. We may try to drill and put a small bolt through the rod. That's 516. It's going to be awful small. And then we can get in. We can always use a socket extension or something. We can reach in here. Six inch pipe would have been even easier. but Okay, back to work. Thought I'd just show that. Okay, we got this propped over and that's kind of squared, so that held that really good on the brass jaws. These are some big nuts I use for spacers. This is a 3 16 bit, I think. Number 10 machine screw. So there's not going to be much left of the rod when I drill a hole in it. So we're going to make the hole as small as possible. We just want this bigger and sloppier so it won't be hard to put together. So Here we go. Back to work. Okay, we left about a half inch rod sticking out. I'm going to zoom in and see if you can see the marker dot. Can you see it? This camera does have some pretty good zoom. I reached down there with the Sharpie marker. 
one more time just for the fun of it. Ain't fun, I don't want to do it. There we go. We left plenty. We got plenty of rod to make the thing there, so don't worry about that. Okay, we're going to slowly pull it out of there, then mark that, and we'll drill a hole in it. Instead of be a 3 16 hole, 5 16 rod, it's going to be like a 16th of an inch clearance on the other side. So we're going to try to go as small as we can. We're going to do like a 32nd or 64th or something, but just to get the bolt to go through it. Stay tuned. Okay, don't drop that. We laid this up here in our V-block. We eyeballed this. Then we held it in there just with our hands. We made a hole smaller, then we went to the size we needed. So we're right at 3 16th. And don't leave you a whole lot of room there, but the bolt fits in it. That's what counts. Okay, we're going to go test fit and see if it works in the pipe. Quit dropping everything. Stay tuned. Okay, we got our magnet here. Extendable telescopic. And there's the bolt. We've got a hammer on the other side laying in there, so I don't want to move. Now we're going to flip around, put the nut on it. And then we'll show you it operating. Okay, well, it wasn't easy to put the nut on. We got our hammer back there. See that? We had our hammer kind of stood up where it was, the head of the bolt was hitting it. And we test fitted the nut on there first. Bolt's kind of too long, but. Whoa! Look away at flashing light. Bother you. I should have said it. Stop it, I'm getting dizzy. There you go, using our Harbor Freight flashlight. That's the one that was inside the stove and almost melted. Okay, it's break time. Next time you'll see me is when I get the handle and everything made on this rod, whatever shape it's gonna be. Stay tuned. Okay, we're done with this part. That's good enough for a stove damper rod. Okay. Want to show this. See my sanding roll? It's not on there all the way. It kind of makes it tapered when you get down in something like this. And these welds will cut easy. So don't worry if you put a bunch of weld on there. That's two of them stuck together. Cutter disc. This one has, I think, three. Yeah, this has three. They're just your standard little cutter disc. They come in wide and thin with your rotary accessory tools. This is that $20 one I bought. Uh, I made a video on it. I'd have to go back and look, but it works good. It, to me, my opinion is it's just as tough as the Dremel is now. Dremel is overrated, over expensive. Too expensive, I should say. But I think I had a clip be going like this, kind of going an X pattern. Okay, remember, you got to keep this round, even though this is not going to be perfectly round when the weld goes in here. You know, or you'd be taking, but if you make kind of an X pattern, you know, go this way, you can go this way, you could go, I mean, you can get down in there, whatever you can get down in there. Okay, there you go. Next clip you'll see is it put in the. Uh, Stove pipe, this video is getting pretty long. So it's been two parts just making a damper. So thanks for watching if I don't come back.